Hey guys, it's me, 80s from over to guys, to guys, and we talk to you guys about our two nations I've qualified to the World Cup, that is France and Belgium, fifth and sixth respectively. Now, I understand that I'm very late. I, I do apologize in advance, guys. And unfortunately, there are just things in life that I just cannot control. There are things in life that I just have to accept, and unfortunately, today happened to be one of those days where I had to go to an event, and unfortunately, I was unable to uh, get home earlier, and in fact, when, once I did get home, I had to complete some work, so... I do apologize in advance, but as, as we say, it's better late than never, right? So, you know, we're going to go ahead and discuss both nations in this video because both have qualified basically around the same time. So rather than me doing separate videos, let's just do both together. And let's start with the Belgium first because I'm um, actually, let's start with, actually, let's start with France because their group was first. Okay, um, you look at it right here, guys. France, they played seven games, four wins, three draws, 16 goals scored, three goals conceded. They were obviously the best team in this group. That said, though, this is a group that's had a lot of draws, probably more draws than we expect from France. And given the quality on paper for France, three draws is rather disappointing. And given the nations that they are facing, they really shouldn't be drawing any of these. Maybe one at the very most, but certainly not three. I think three is too many. And I think for France in particular, this year has been a rather underwhelming year for the most part. I think for the most part, you look at what they did in the Euros, very underwhelming indeed. Um, and even the qualifiers as well, they haven't really been convincing as well. Obviously, the Nations League win did ease of some of that pressure and obviously did give Deschamps some silver award that could, they could use for the Qatar World Cup in you know, preparation. But this France team, they have been really, really subpar, man. I've been disappointed with France for the majority of this year. And for me, guys, this France team has been very stagnant. They haven't really been convincing. I mean, look at the results they've had this year. Obviously, we want to look into the um, qualifiers. And, you know, they start out with the qualifiers in a very interesting way. You know, um, you know, drawing at home to, um, what is it, uh, Fr Ukraine at home. That is unacceptable. Just on your first match day, draw. They did win against Kazakhstan on the road. They did win against Bosnia on the road. Um, and then they had a period of winless streaks. You could see Uruguay, I mean, no, I say Hungary right there, Portugal, Switzerland, Bosonia, and the Ukraine. And these were five games in which they had a consecutive streak. You know, they finally did break the streak against Finland. You know, then they finally won against, um, what is it, Kazakhstan. So, as you can see right here, guys, France have been really, really subpar, as I said. Their top goal scorer has always been killing Mbappe, you know, scored four goals today, had an absolute brilliant performance, and Benzema as well was brilliant. And I think for me, guys, the thing that has saved France a lot this year, guys, I have to say is Benzema. With Benzema's inclusion into the team has made things so much better. I think Deschamps was right to put Benzema into the team, and I think it was a great decision to reintroduce him back into the team. And he brings so much more attacking presence, because as great as Giroud is, he didn't really do, he wasn't really that great when he came into um, the World Cup, you know, didn't even score a single goal in the World Cup, you know. And for me, Benzema's qualities is way better. I mean, I think Benzema, for example, for Real Madrid's had a great season. I think it was only right for Deschamps to call him, so, you know, to let him off like that. So, for me, guys, Benzema, for me, guys, is a very critical player for France, and I think he's honestly one of the reasons why France even had a chance at Euros. You look what he did against Switzerland, against Germany, um, against Portugal, you know, he was pretty vital, I would have to say. And I just think that for me, his presence for France has really made a huge difference. And I think this player in particular could give France that edge that they really need in the final third when Mbappe and Griezmann isn't really clicking. For me, another disappointing player for France this year has been, um, I think, got to be the defense. The defense for me, guys, has been really shaky. Um, with There's no Umtiti there to really cover. And with the players like Varane and, you know, um, you got Kimbembe right there. It's not really the same. It's not really the same. They have declined. I don't think they're as good as they used to be. And I just think for France in particular, um, I am a bit worried for them in 2022 World Cup because this France team, guys, I don't know what type of France. Because for me, guys, the if we see France at their optimal best, keep in mind optimal, then I think France will 100% win the World Cup. I think they can honestly do back-to-back. But the problem is that will we see that France is a real question. Will we see a France that will be that hunk ruthless and be that passionate for? You know, and that's the question for me, because that's what I'm not sure about, if I'm being honest. Because for me, for guys, the team that could beat France is themselves. I really don't really believe any other teams can beat France. I know France, I know Switzerland did beat them in the Euros, but I think that was more just down to France implosion rather than Switzerland being amazing at all. Because let's be real, guys, France they honestly screwed up in the last 10 minutes, you know? 
So for France, man, I could see them going to the World Cup winners and winning that thing again or just exiting the group stage. It's very unpredictable, France. And for Deschamps in particular, he has to make things consistent. Because for me right now, guys, this France team is way too good to go out of the group stage. But I wouldn't be surprised. We, I wouldn't be surprised. And in fact, they actually started this champion's curse. You know, they were the team that started this. And I just think for me, for France, they need to improve upon this. They have to improve upon this. And they cannot, they have to be ruthless and they have to be there. You know, they can't ease off and be arrogant and all that. And I just think that this France team got so, France team believed that they were so good and that could just win the Euros just by ease walking like that as they did in the World Cup. It didn't work like that. You know, they weren't really that great in the Euros in particular. You know, it had a slow start and tried to build on as the uh, tournament went on for the World Cup. It didn't really happen the same in the Euros. So, for me, France, man, it's a very difficult nation to analyze because I feel like, for me, guys, France is one of the nations that kind of goes against the traditional rules because they play so much of a counterattacking style, and more often than not, they have less possession, and they're, like, so dangerous up front. I mean, that combination of Benzema and Bopic, Griezmann, I mean, you added Dembella and Coleman into the mix. I mean, it could look very nasty indeed, very nasty indeed. So, yeah, for me, guys, I think for France in particular, I think they'll do well in the World Cup. I don't think they'll win it again. That's not going to happen. But I, I, I have to wait for my judgment. I need to see what group they're going to be in. Because as I said before, guys, this France team, in my opinion, is very unpredictable. It's hard to predict with this France team. Let's move on to the next team we got is Belgium. Okay. So for my early prediction for France, they'll be in pod one. I think they'll probably, I, I'd say they should at least make round of 16. At least make round of 16. Belgium. Once again, another similar story to France in a way that they have been somewhat subpar when it comes to trophies. But in qualifiers, they've been amazing. They've been amazing in qualifiers. They've they've honestly looked really good. 19 points, 6 wins, 1 draw, 24 goals scored, 5 goals conceded. They've looked really dominant. They've looked really dominant. And we kind of know that Belgium is a team that can always do well in the qualifiers. They can always do well in the early stages, competition group stage, round of 16 and all that. But when it comes to pressured moments, when it comes to the knockout stage when it comes to the quarterfinals and semis where they need to really show up more often than not we get disappointed and i think for roberto martinez in particular this is his last world cup in my opinion this is the last big chance for belgium here and for me if they don't win the 2022 they can forget the 2024 and so on because for me guys this is the last chance we'll see the golden generation really be up for it you know and let's just look at the qualifiers they have played so far obviously they won uh what was it three goals to one against estonia then they won against 1-0 against Belarus on the road, 3-0 against Czech Republic, 5-2 against Estonia. Then they actually won against um um they actually won 8-0 against Belarus, drew 1-1 against Czech on the road, 3-1 against Wales. And you know, for Belgium in particular, man, I just think that for me this is a great team. This is a great team you have. You obviously have um, you know, Lukaku in the mix, Kevin De Bruyne or Eden Hazard, Carrasco, Widzo, Thomas Munier, Castigne, Widzo, Benteke, you know. You have a lot of quality players on that bench. Thorgan Hazard, Dries Mertens, you know, you know, Courtois in particular. Then you got Denia, Vertonghen, you know. It's a very good team. For Belgium in particular, though, it's a team that always disappoints. It's a team that always disappoints. And for me, guys, Roberto Martinez isn't the man for the job. I'm sorry, guys. When it comes to those crucial moments, he always makes his, these weird substitutions. I kind of say the same for France in particular because, as I said, I think both nations have kind of the similar issues. I think both nations... Have kind of some. I would say there's more issues with uh, France right now than Belgium. But for Belgium in particular, man, they just really fail to deliver when it comes to the crucial moments when they need to deliver. So, you know, I don't know, man. For Belgium, it's tough to say. They'll, I think they'll be in pod one for the World Cup when the World Cup happens. But as far as their expectation goes, where they go, I'm going to say they should at least reach the round of 16. I'm going to say probably quarterfinals. But from the quarters onwards, who knows, man? Who knows? I'm going to say quarterfinal finish, though. For Belgium, and I think Belgium should look. They, I, I hope they can do something in the World Cup to me because I really want to see a first-time winner. And I think Belgium have a good chance, but would I put my money on it? Absolutely no, absolutely no. I mean, they haven't even reached a final of this generation, which is sad enough. I mean, the fact that they even won a trophy is sad enough, but they haven't even reached a final. They haven't even reached a final, guys, which is very, very sad indeed. So as I said, that's pretty much my just quick reaction on both France and Belgium qualifying to the World Cup. You know, just give you guys my hot take of the qualifiers. You know, didn't go too much in depth and just give you guys where I could see them ending up in the World Cup 2020. Just like a little early prediction, by the way, guys. I This could subject to change when the actual draws are made and all that. So that's it for today, guys. Make sure you guys check out me and my other podcasts. Listen to the description below. Make sure you guys comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.